Don't touch me, dude. Don't put your hands on me. Trust me, if they knew I was, if they knew who I thought I was. What? You're gonna break my camera? They'll target you. Don't trust cops. They're bad people. The demons of our earth are called cops. They're called pigs. They're called pigs. Wow. Now. Sure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm over here. Now. Do not I'm, I'm over here. I'm running from do you, lady. Ah! I'm scared right now. You're not society, dude. I'm scared right now. I'm getting away. Right here with your camera. She's 13. Whoa. It was a now. Whoa. Okay. You have no respect for children. You have no respect for women. No, I'm the boss. I'm I'm the I'm the highest ranking person in this room right now. But oh, right. What's your name? He just took my property. No, was, what was he your just, name? He just took my property. What was your name? He just took my hey, sir. Can you please? He just he just, was, he just took hey, my property. Hey, dude, keep on walking, dude. You're gonna go to jail tonight. Oh, just so you guys know. So just so you guys know, Chili this guy. lied about wrestling in high school. I didn't never wrestle. wrestled in high school. I didn't. contact his high school. Sure. He lied about turning at the Lions Den with yeah. Ken Shamrock and Guy Mesger. I contact both. They say they don't know who the short little piece of shit is. I gave him pictures. They don't know who he is. Okay. I didn't wrestle in high school or no nothing in college and I never trained lines. All those things? You never did. Okay. Look at him. What's strange about me? I don't lie about people. Wow, this is great. I don't lie about people. This is great. I don't lie about. I don't lie my ass out. Okay. I'm not a compulsive liar. I got. You gonna throw? Back up. Back up. Throw? Back up. Okay. You don't even know who you want to throw with. I don't want to throw with you. Walk him in. And just hey. so you, just so you know, man. Listen. Uh, you know. Like that easy, homie. Come yeah. On. I, I wish somebody would. And as you notice again. I didn't put you on camera. I, I don't do that to people. Look, I know a lot of auditors. They will film the clerks. They will film the people in offices. I don't do that. That's not how I do it. I don't, I don't want to cause anybody any undue burden or stress. Officer, I, I'm having a problem here. You're going to vacuum over there is what you're going to do. Don't you ever try it again. That's who that gentleman is right there. Don't you ever try to hide transparency again, you dirty pig. Anything to silence you, anything. I have, just so you guys know, I have family members who have disowned me that I don't talk to anymore. They have nothing to do with me, won't speak to me. They won't talk to me. Something to a family member and I said, I hope he burns in hell. And then the guy died. Isn't that crazy, right? <laughs> he was a pig, you know? And so uh, now I have family members who won't speak to me that I have anything to do with me. That why I did. I tell you what, I fit right in. If I talk like that, I'll tell you some bitch, some bitch. Right. But they think I smoke meth because I ain't got no teeth to cry. Just so you guys know, he's big. I'm big. I'm bigger than everybody I know. But typically, I'm physically bigger than everybody around. Hey, we just met. Can you go ahead and get on the wall, spread your butt cheeks for me? I owe. We have police officers following us. Every time. Every time. They've arrested us under false pretenses. Held me in jail for three days. Uh, told people that I didn't have a bond. They're malicious. Thugs. Never seen nothing like it. Like it was in here. Doing it intentionally too to intimidate us. Oh, he's pulling us over. We're getting pulled over? Yeah. Crack your window. Oh, I got to see. Lock my doors. Lock all the doors. What's up, buddy? Hey, what am I being pulled over for? Uh, a couple things, man. Uh, there's a the cover over your tag. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it obstructs the view of your tag. Over in Ohio, you can't have that. And then also the uh, tag, when I ran, it came back to a tan vehicle. Yeah, we've had we've that. We've been, been pulled this. over for that before okay. by you guys. By us? Yeah. Yep. Okay. A few months back. Okay. I need my license or something. And we're yeah. from Kentucky. In Kentucky, we're in the middle of a door dash. Okay. So. Well, it is in Ohio, so. All right. There you go. Need insurance, too? 
Yeah, yeah, I mean the insurance, the registration, everything. Oh, wow. Oh, there you go. Where's the corn? You need to kind of hurry this up. Yeah, see, it says tan on our um, on our registration, too. Right. But we've already had this issue with you guys. Yeah, but it's a silver car. Yeah, yeah I, we I, can't I, help I, that. That's not, I mean, that's out of my we control. Can't we help bought that. it from my cousin's car lot yeah. right here on the corner in Cold Road. Well, I'm just so. saying, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, well, is, why'd you run my tags in the first place? I can run your tag anytime I want to run your tag. Oh, I thought you were supposed to radio your supervisor and all that uh, stuff. I don't have to radio my supervisor. Cause, uh, 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 nothing against you, man, but every time we come to Ironton, okay. a, a, one of you guys gets behind us, follows us, runs our tags, and we usually get pulled over. Okay. Uh, all right, welcome back, everybody. I was going to do three parts on this because there's so much content. But this is two part. And this is the second part. And it is lengthy. It's over 50 minutes long. So if you take a break at about the 20, I think it's around 25 minute when they're talking to the police chief, it's a good place to take a break because the final... Uh, 20 some minutes is the final traffic stop along with um, oh exposing chili a bunch uh, really really have to watch that last half now I ran a longer intro this time and the reason that is I'm going to also use this on the live stream and, and, and it allows people to show up for the live stream gives them a little bit of time to get in there and, and, and so on so <clears throat> it, it's a good intro though it's, it's worth the watch it's all, it's all ch chilly it's 100% chilly clips so thank you for being here this means a lot Team Skeptic thank you for the work you're doing to try to get this guy keep this idiot from filing these false copyright claims which he does by the handfuls um, kudos to you my friend you, you're you mean a lot to the smaller channels I reached out to him one time and he immediately responded to me about a copyright strike he cares and it's good to have you back bro uh Take down exposing frauders went through this uh, copyright strike deal. All it does is slow the video down. You just turn around, put them right back up, let them strike it again. Just just keep playing the game with them. But it it's nonsense. He just doesn't want anybody to tell the truth about him. And there's so much in these videos. There's just so much that he exposes himself. That's the problem. He's full of nonsense and these poor people take what he says to heart and then they try to use it in a traffic stop and it's all wrong and all it does is make their life more miserable, makes it worse. I hope, I just hope that somebody that knows Sarah and Tim get a hold of them and say, look, you got to watch these videos that expose this guy. His trifold's garbage. The information he's giving you is, is garbage. It's not for the average person to do. For an activist, maybe. You know, an activist might get out, get out there and be able to pull some of that off. <laughs> but it's nonsense for the average person, for sure. It's nonsense anyway, but it's really nonsense for a simple-minded person that's just trying to get by in life and just wants to... <laughs> and look... Every one of these stops is pretty well justified. I mean, where do they kind of watch them? Maybe they were, maybe they won't, were, weren't. But, but you know, the problem is, you know, the tag kept coming back the same. The headlight was still out. There was, you know, there's violations there. And we all know that traffic cops can find a reason to pull you over. You know, I probably make a few mistakes every time I get out and drive. A little wide on a turn, maybe swerve out of my lane a little bit. Might take my eyes off the road and lose my focus, what have you. All right, we're going to get on with it here. This is a long one. Hang in there, people. It's well worth it. Watch it all the way through. Okay, let's go. It's called a lot of problems. 
And Alan, why why is it called Brabham? I mean, I the, well, you see these cameras here? Yeah. These were put here for a reason. Okay, um, the last right. time I got pulled over in Ironton, I got yanked out of my car and slammed to the ground, and I've got a lawyer working on that. Okay, but, um, let me I, ask you something. There, it just seems to be like uh, you guys have it out for us or something. Uh, okay, well, you, well, give me just a second. Okay. I appreciate it. I, I'm trying to get back to work here. Does he still need, we're, like, we're on a door dash, sir, working. Yeah. But there's the proof that the registration says tan on it. That's fine. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not debating that. Uh, oh, wow. What? He said there's something about having trouble. Well, honest. what I'm going to do is I'm guessing... The reason you got pulled out of the car the last time you was here, and this is a strict guess because I'm reading how you're acting towards me, is because you either A, refused to get out of the vehicle when you was out. Oh, I refused to ID. That was what okay. it was. Okay. Because he had no good... Well, the officer followed me all the way across the... What it was, he was parked at a car wash. As soon as he seen our car, he jumped out, followed us clear across town, waited for us to turn, and then when we turned, he said we didn't use our turn signal 100 feet prior to the turn. Which is a We long. proved that wrong, though. We went and literally measured the spot where he said we used our turn signal. It was 187 feet. Okay. I was held in jail for three days, and they told my family that I didn't have a bond, which was a lie. Okay. I'm just saying, it did, if it was you, wouldn't you... I mean, we're not breaking the law. We don't. We're not. Well, unfortunately, engaged in any criminal activity How? or. Un or unfortunately, you you committed a couple. Just don't of argue with him. We just need to get back to work. So. Uh, traffic violations on just your vehicle. So. Okay. That is the law, so okay. you are breaking the law. Well, how can we fix it? Do I need to take it off my... Well, I would I would suggest that, yes. Okay. I would suggest that, and I would also suggest you uh, go figure out what's going on with your... your well, uh, we're still paying on the... Oh, God, that's under my eyes. I'm sorry, man. I need because, to... like I said, if I run your tag and it comes back to a tan car, right. which it does... Sir, that's an objective opinion. People it's, have different no, opinions no, about that color. Opinion. No, it's not, sweetheart. It's not. Listen, it's... it's Something, there's some help. kind of mistake on the registration. We bought okay. the car. But we can't that's help the, that's that. That's the registration we were given. Well, I, I don't know what, what I'm else to saying do. is, I would suggest, if you ask what you could do, yeah. I'm giving you suggestions, so I would suggest you to shut up. Um, so shut up. Just don't say that. Just shut up. Because I'm not well, talking to you. Is okay. that a lawful order? That is a lawful order. Okay. I thought we had freedom okay. of speech. Well, we do, but with her keep bumping in. I get it, yeah. And obst okay. obstruction. Can obstructing we, my investigation of right. my traffic stops. Sir, can we de-escalate? Can we de-escalate? We are de-escalating. Well, I'm telling you you're, you're, what's going on, okay? okay. We, I don't like being interrupted. I don't like trying to be talked over to, which you're trying I to apologize. do, right. well, which she is doing. Okay. Okay? I apologize. So this is what I'm saying. What's going to happen? going down the wrong way or what? Yeah, way? because of how you guys are acting. So oh, what well, happened? sir, we're not acting we're any at, way. I'm just asking I told questions. You, yes, sir. Uh, I, now, now I'm telling you to hush and listen to okay. me. I want you to take your seatbelt off, and you're coming back here, me, and you're going to talk like men instead of having your wife yell over top. Oh wow! I, 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 I told you once, shut up. Okay, just I told you once, shut up. Well, there you have it. Uh, you know, she can't keep her mouth shut. I can't think of a more descriptive way to ask someone to be quiet than to say shut up. It's a bit rude, I guess. Um, I know when I was a kid that if I said, told someone to shut up, that I'd probably get flicked in the mouth. You know, my mother didn't like that, and uh, she didn't think that that was an appropriate way to uh, to project those <laughs> feelings. <laughs> but you know, uh, there's nothing more clear than shut up. And she just doesn't get it. She just doesn't. It's nonstop with her. And uh, they wonder why they get in these situations. I mean, even even Tim there, he, he uh, you know, the stuff that comes out of it, you know, it's that YouTube soft sit fraudulent garbage that, that, that's preached. You know, can't run your license plate without a reason and uh, can't pull you over without calling the supervisor first and you know all you're driving a vehicle on the roadway when you get your driver's license you sign a contract with the state 
You have to abide by the rules. It's a privilege, not a right. You have to furnish your driver's license or ID when you're stopped. You know, it, it, so much of the garbage they want to spew out just doesn't even apply to traffic stops. It's a whole different creature. And then they don't do anything about uh, these things. You know, I know, you know, the deer jumped out in front of them and busted the, the headlamp and, and the, the car comes back a different color. That, that's easily rectified. I can tell you what happened there. I, I guarantee you. He said he bought it off of his cousin's car lot. The car was wrecked. His cousin bought it probably at an auction, fixed it up, painted it, and sold it. Never never bothered to, um, I know where we live, we have what we call salvage title, and then you, they come out and they, you know, inspect it before they reissue a title on it. And that that's how they clarify, you know, those kinds of things don't happen. But that's not how this went down, and that's why he's got two different colors. Uh, one on the title and one the actual color, um, or on the registration. So... You know that that I guarantee you that's what happened, but that's easily rectified. You just have to you just have to go do it. All right, let's get back and see if Motormouth uh, gets herself in trouble here. I just know she does. Stop. Yeah. No, sir, sir, no, no, no. sir. She's not Don't breaking any laws. She's, she's, she's not done obstructing me twice. Sir, after being told her. Listen. I to be told she's her talking. That's I not against the law. To you. If I give her a lawful order to shut up, but she is. said I apologize. Yes. Now I'm telling you to get out. Answer. Yeah. Open the door. Who was talking to us, sir? No, no I said not. step out here. Okay. Take your off. Just Face step away. Out. Just do what he says, babe. Sure. Sure. I want right there. Face away. Away? Yep. Your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. Well, Your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. Well, Why are you doing this? This is a traffic stop. For what? For obstruction of failure to comply with the lawful orders. After I told her to shut up and let me be called. I did. And she did. She's under arrest. Pronounced the case because she failed to listen. Yes. At least the case. Two years. Is, is the, has that been messed up since you've had it? Like the color on the Yeah, beer? yeah. That's that that's the registration they gave us when we got the car. I don't know who uh, who do, like if the BMV actually BMV. looks at the car and then well, notes that to. or they're supposed to. Because no, she's me, not colorblind, so I know she didn't tell him it was tan. But. Let me let me explain to you, okay? And and what he's saying is. Technically, it's, it's improper display of a registration and or fictitious, potentially fictitious registration in Ohio because it doesn't match the car. However, neither one of us think it's your fault, okay? Right. So we don't want to write you a ticket for it based on the fact that it's not your fault. I would appreciate not getting a ticket for it. Well, and, but but you do need to get that taken care of because I ultimately will, you're liable to get that. You're liable to get stopped 20 times over that. I mean, because it doesn't match. It says it's a tan or yeah, tan we've been pulled something. over in Kentucky. I've been I was pulled over in Huntington <laughs> for the headlight. I didn't. I mean, I, I don't know if that's against the law, but my, I got we hit a deer, but um, and no one's ever brought it up. Like just you guys. Uh, you have to have. Two. I've been pulled over once before here for it, and that's the you only time. You have to have I've two heard. headlights on a on a vehicle pointing forward. Right. And then obviously the registration, the tag should match identically to what the I car mean, we're out here busting our ass trying to get money for our I, bills, you know. I, mean? I get you. And can't that, afford every little thing that the deer ran out in front of us. You know. And once again, we understand that and we respect the snot out of that. Some out working trying to, okay? But you have to remember that's what we're doing too. And the only thing he would have been done, you'd have been out of here. 
that's what I was trying to get to happen. Like we're, we just lost. She would just let her to get their mouth shut and not interrupt it and make things so difficult. You know, that's kind of where things go. She's got, she's got a bold opinion on, on, uh, policing and the, the blue stripes and, uh, I can't change that. We don't, we don't, that, the, the thin blue line stuff doesn't mean anything to us. What we do is we come out here and do the same job every time. I, I get it. I know what it means. It just means police lives matter. The only thing that we're saying is that we just come out here and do the same job. If we see somebody break the law, we're actually swore an oath that we would do something about it. So that's what we try to do. Okay. Um, now, here's what we're going to do, or at least his intention was, is he's going to go over and talk to her and explain to her what's going on. And hopefully she's settled down enough to where it's not going to be an issue. Um, and and we'll, she's, she's fine. Yeah, you know, because she wasn't trying to like talk over him, but she was trying to talk to him. And then he got kind of rude, I thought. I mean, that was shut up, you know. Like, well, I can't talk to her like that, man. I don't think anybody else can either. You well, know? The, the problem is, and, and I get that, but you have to realize some people once don't again, like, you know, it's because and once, talking, a, once it's again, like, and I understand, I, I do understand it from both sides, okay, because, because I, I live this life. So, Here's what I do understand is I understand that if I tell somebody generally around this area to cease and desist, they say, what the hell does that mean? Right. Shut up. Exactly. Yeah, that's what, they, see, you said, that's what I'm saying. She knows what cease and desist means. Well, sure. But, but, but once again, we didn't, all day we didn't, long, we didn't read her pedigree before we stopped you. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? So ultimately we don't know who knows it and who doesn't. So around here in this area, let's face it, that's about the only thing that's going to work to tell people. <laughs> so, so hopefully... Can stuff, you man. tell the rest of your guys that stuff. I'm not going to write tag, you a ticket. You know, well, we will get it fixed, but we, in the meantime, we, we're, we're driving for a living right now. I can't tell them. Which is why I have this with me, because if I wasn't making money, I wouldn't even have this thing. I can't tell them not to stop you based on that, okay? I'm not allowed to tell them they can't enforce the law. You know what I'm saying? But I can say that the bet that he's not going to write a ticket, okay? He he never was, I don't think. I, don't I think, think so. she just kind of like, kind of talked to her. Talk it up, you know. We've had a lot of problems. I got a cousin that lives in Texas, and somehow he had my social security number. He got a freaking my birth certificate from San Diego, California. I have no idea how he did it, but he had an ID with his picture in my name, and he caused a lot of stink down in Texas. And I and every once in a while they run my name, and his picture shows up. And you know, I, I've almost been arrested three times because of him. He's he's like gangster thug type. Can't tell him shit. You know, he's a fucking thug. Okay, so there you go. When he was talking about being held without bond, and I made mention that maybe they were waiting for fingerprints to come back because he wouldn't ID himself or what have you. Well, there you go right there. He just explained why. He had a cousin or something that got his ID and messed with it and it caused him problems. I guarantee you when they ran his fingerprints or record or got his name and ran it, they ended up with conflicting um, identif you know, identifications. Um, and they probably had to clarify that. And that took more than 24 hours or 48 hours to do it. I think most departments have like 72 hours uh, uh, to, to hold. Um, but I bet, I bet you that's why. And once again, that's a little bit harder to get cleared up, but it can still be cleared up. All, all these problems that Sarah and Tim have can be rectified, all of them. Some of them require financial responsibility, like you know, getting the car fixed. They probably only have liability insurance. I doubt they have full coverage. They might, if they've got a loan on it, they may have full coverage, and 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 maybe insurance. Uh, you know, maybe they got a check from insurance company for the difference in the deductible, and they decide to spend it <laughs> as opposed to fix their car. <laughs> you know, who knows. But all these things can be rectified. All the things that most of us do normally, you know, we, ha we hit a deer, we fix our car, we have a license plate cover that's, that we get a ticket for, well, we, we get rid of it. Uh, we have a taillight, what, whatever it be, all these things can be rectified. They just choose not to and try to skirt, you know, the, the law. And, and now they're using their car for whatever it is, 
DoorDash, uh, Uber, whatever, whatever those things are. They, they're using it to earn income, <clears throat> which makes it even more so that they would want to enforce the laws because they're on the streets more. <laughs> it's just, oh, they're so foolish. Yep, live, live and die by the YouTube subset frauditor handbook. Yep, live and die by it. You're gonna live by it. You're gonna die by it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens from here. Killing shit. You know, he fucking thought hoodlum. You know what I mean? Well, I hope like crazy that you know this that hopefully she can kind of learn a lesson from this and say, you know, let me just let you finish and you know it won't be such a big deal. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back in my glove box. Calm down, sweetheart. She's got high blood pressure, man. I just, you know. Oh God, damn it! She fainted. Uh, almost for a half an hour. Half an hour. Already? Were your wrists mangled? Yes. Mangled. Yes. And they have pictures of the mangled yeah. wrists. Yeah. So we're not done. It ain't over. She fainted when they let her out. She, I, I, she yeah. fainted. They fa oh, there's Pam. Pam, we want a can complaint get, for him. Can we get some complaint for him? Can we get a They're complaint? They're on our website. They sure are. Well, Pam, do you want to refute what she said? She said that you told her you would threaten to arrest her for filing a false police report. Is that true? That is not true. I believe if you're true. I one said... Of your Oh, but she came here. You're Pam. There's, uh, yeah. there's Pam Wagner. Yeah. So she came here, and what Pam said to her was that she would arrest her for filing a false complaint. That is not. That, that's what that's you said. True. That's what you said, Pam. Don't lie. That's what that's, you said. I got it on video. I have it on video. I have so everything on video. So why can't she file a complaint? Why can't Sarah she file can, a complaint? She can file a complaint on anything she wants to, and I explained no, that you said to you her. would arrest her if she filed a complaint, is what you said. No, I did not That's what you that. said. And she did. And we've been harassed. Because okay, I so what I said, well, hang on. Let her talk. My turn to talk. Please, you guys. Okay. I, want, I want you guys to let, let me navigate. My turn to talk. Let okay. her talk. Sure. Okay. I believe what I said to you was, if you moved forward with a false police report, you could be prosecuted for that. Is that not the words I used? Right. Is that not the words I, I used? Look at her aggressive. How yeah, sorry, Chili. Uh, a little bit more than just semantics. Idiot. The way he projects things is exactly why people get in trouble. You know, he projected that as she said it that way, and she didn't. And you probably figured that she didn't. But uh, that's what gets these people in trouble. They listen to what he says, the way he says it, and they think that it's the gospel. And that's way, way, way more than just semantics. <laughs> It's just, it's, it's just crazy. All right, so we're going to be on the last traffic stop here. Um, now, again, when Chili presented this video, he reversed it. He started with this stop at the beginning of the video instead of running them in chronological order. And I think it's important to run them in chronological order because it, it, it it sets the tone for how things ended up the way they ended up or how they got there. I mean, how else could you do it? Well, not for Chili because he doesn't want to set the tone to justify the means. He wants to set the tone for his purposes. And um, anyway... Well, I hope everybody um, liked what we did here on uh, on these. I've got several more uh, Ironton videos that are going to kind of be put together as one because there's so much nonsense in them. It's just basically introducing the people that came to him and said, you know, 
the police force is bad because they took my piece of crap motorcycle that sat on the curb for months and, and impounded it. <laughs> Chili shows a picture of a $60,000 Harley and this guy had like a 1984 CB750 Honda <laughs> that he put $2,000 into. Oh, well, first of all, you're ignorant if you put 2000 bucks into an 84 CB750 Honda. Um, but anyway, all right. Help me out, share the video, like it, dislike it, comment, uh, subscribe, become a member. Hit that notification bell so you know when we're uh, posting videos or going live. So let's, uh, let's watch this uh, last traffic stop here. exactly what it is. I wasn't doing anything, you know yeah. what I mean? And he came up and he's banging on my fucking window. 
And I was like, can I help you? He's like, yes, ma'am. You got your ID on you? I was like. Yeah, well, we know that's not true. She's not telling that story quite the way it happened. She was on her way to a job interview. She got pulled over. She wasn't sitting there in the parking lot putting on her makeup. So, you know, right there gives you as much skepticism as you need to believe these people. Um, how many times throughout these two videos is their depiction of things <laughs> completely different than what they were? And uh, and then, of course, Chili exaggerates the hell out of it. He didn't, you know, he didn't take the time to... Uh, go back and look and, and, and analyze the stuff. He just he just takes everybody's word for what they say and, and runs with it and uh, you know, does his does his thing. Goes out and makes videos for for his subscribers and clicks and views and does his grifting and, and then moves on to somebody else and leaves the leaves nothing but a pile of garbage behind. I mean, these people are probably more confused now than they were to start. If they would just not pay attention to the garbage law that comes off of the, you know, out of the handbook off of YouTube, you know, the soft set predator handbook. It, it's just, it's a shame, really, because she could be educated, maybe. I don't know if she'd shut up long enough to be educated, but Anyway, so there you go. That, that that pretty well shows that. Let's get back to it here. Wait, what? Well, what do you need my ID for? Oh, well, in the state of Ohio, if the police officer asks you for ID, you have to ID yourself. I said, yeah, only when you've committed a crime. So what crime do you suspect me of committing? He, he was like, well, you just need to get out of your car. And you're, I said, no, you need to call your supervisor is exactly what you're going to do. I was like, I'm not going nowhere. And when your supervisor gets here, we'll go from there. Won't he just come back around? He's for? harassing me. I'm sorry, Caleb. I will take you to the hospital. Like, literally, dude, just as quick as I possibly can. But I'm pissed off because there he goes again and he's gonna fucking circle around. Yeah, just what do you bet? Circling? Yep. Why? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Like that makes no logical sense why you would be circling the block over and over. I'm again. I'm calling the police department. That's no, exactly don't, what don't I'm gonna call do. The police department. <sighs> Can't take it, man. I'm broke. I have no fucking money now as it is. I'm sorry that I had to come to Iron. No. Don't be. It's not your fault, buddy. N not at all. They can't get me on the fucking car color shit again. Oh, well, your car comes back as a tan vehicle. Yeah, and? You'll be okay, honestly. They can't even pull you. Like, you're good. Dude, I'm fucking legal beagle. They li Do you know why they stopped us the last time? He said he ran my tag and the car came back, uh as a tan vehicle and he didn't think it was tan he thought it was more of a white bronze i was like well dude i can't help your perception of a fucking color why don't you fucking call the B the bmv and uh, ask him can you change the color of people's cars so we can just you know i don't think the car is that color and i'd like to know if you'd please change it for me yeah, so yeah, i you know so i can quit writing them up somebody can literally paint their car
do here, so you should go straight. Over. I didn't do anything. with 911 now and I want to know why you're following me. I'm not following you. You did. You circled the block three times. That's why I stopped and pulled over to walk out with you because every time I come over here, you all harass me. You, you broke, what did I do? You broke a traffic violation. What was a traffic violation? It was a turn signal and a stop You just did a U-turn in the middle of the street. To catch up to you. To me, sir, I stopped. I stopped immediately. Well, I'll just hop out here. I'm not. My, I, need an, I need an officer here, please. This officer has been following me through town and I'm not doing anything wrong. I literally stopped and pulled over because I knew he was going to do this. Hello? Step out. Ma'am, I need an officer here, please. Sir, I've not done anything wrong and you need to get your supervisor here. Step out. Sir? Tell me what I've done. Alright, this is how this works. I'm gonna ask you to step out, I'm gonna tell you to step out, and then I'm gonna force you to step out. So Sir, you step out will If it's a traffic stop, I will give you my information. If it is a traffic stop. If it is a traffic stop then what? I just told you a third signal and a stop sign violation. Please I don't understand. I watched you circle the block three times to follow me. That's harassment. Were you breaking a traffic violation? No, sir. You literally stopped right here to wait for me to turn so you could turn around. You beat me to the stop sign. You got the right away. Sir, I knew that you were looking for me, so I stopped right here knowing that you were going to blue light me. I, try, I travel these streets all day. I come across thousands of cars every day. Sir? You broke a traffic violation. Be a woman. Own up to it. We're, we're grown woman and men here. Yeah, we are. So, but I mean, I'm already... Uh, part of being a, a, a dog, right, is uh, taking responsibility for your actions, right? And that's breaking a traffic violation. You realize I have you on camera following me, right? I got a camera here. It's going to show that you literally followed me through town. What well, you did, I have you going around the block several times. Uh, there's all kinds of streets that I got to patrol. Yeah, but you're singling me out. I'm not singling you. You did. You broke a driving violation. Can I, do you want me to step out yeah, or what, I mean. Uh, now you're going to cooperate? Sir, I wasn't not not going to cooperate. It's just you all are harassing me right now. Okay, uh, there you have it. When she turned her car off, her dash cam went off too. So, 
that was it for that traffic stop but here for the finale is in her uh, words how all this started and why there is this retaliation against her and Tim this is the part of the story, according to her, that sets it all off and starts the entire uh, retaliation by the Ironton Police Department. Now, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt, I guess, because they've already indicated to us that they don't tell stories exactly the way they happen. Uh, Maybe this is, maybe this isn't. Uh, but it's a pretty bold accusation against uh, Officer McKnight. So let's, um, let's listen to uh, Sarah tell the story. And then uh, you can draw your conclusions and uh, put it in the comment. I appreciate you guys watching this series. Um, We'll see what uh, Cholito thinks about it and uh, if I still uh, run on my channel next week. <laughs> I don't know, who knows. All right. Well, help the channel out if you like what I'm doing. Appreciate it. And uh, definitely watch this so you can hear um, her, uh, her reasoning as to the why there is a retaliation in the first place. All right, let's get on with it here. So, so, so just real quick before, years ago, just give them the basis <gasps> of what so, happened. So, um, two years ago. Uh, my fiance and I went to the dollar store uh, when I had bag, you know, hands packed full of bags, leaving the store, and I had his wallet in my hand. Well, I guess in the midst of putting the groceries in the car and leaving, I dropped his wallet. Well, I hadn't noticed it at the time, so I left and went across the street to the CVS. Uh, once getting there, I kind of noticed across the street that a, a police officer has pulled into the spot that I just left. He, he was talking to somebody in a van, and then after he pulled out, he circled around and pulled into our spot and opened his door and reached out. And we didn't know what he was doing yet until she was like, the wallet. Babe. And I'm like, I don't have it. And we went to the dollar store, and the security camera showed walking out the door with it. So from the door to the car. Okay. So when we got in the car, it fell on the ground, we assume, and... We saw him pick something up, so she went to the police department. Okay, and then what, you came right here. I, I did. I, I came directly here. I, I didn't know who it was, so when I came here, there was a gentleman here, and I, I explained to him the situation. I said there was an officer that was just at the dollar store. Could you please have him dispatched here? And he said, well, what for? I said, I believe he picked up my wallet, and I would like to get it back, and right. I'd like to do that so, completely. So she, she, goes, she goes where he pulled into the space to go get her wallet. She goes back here. He comes to here the department what does he say when he pulls in here so he, he says how can i help you i said well sir you know i'm pretty sure i just watched you pick up my fiance's wallet and i i thought i would just get it back well i don't know what you're talking about i don't have your wallet i, I said sir okay. i'm not making full accusation but i'm pretty sure that i watched you that, pick that, it up and i thought up, you would you have integrity in and give it back that's not what happened that's i tell him i said you know sir I, i'm pretty sure you picked up you know our wallet and i would like to have it back and he says what wallet i said sir you just left the dollar store parking lot and i'm pretty sure you picked up our wallet we we'd, we'd like to have it back lot and look in his lap for like 10 seconds like he had to have been looking through it right and, and, and there's 130 dollars in it whoop de do no not whoop de do you you, <laughs> you told me earlier you make 15 bucks an hour yeah. so 130 bucks is a yeah, full day's uh, wages yeah, I mean, yeah. is that correct yeah. so Absolutely. you're not rich you're not, you're not rich. Oh, no, we're like paycheck day. to paycheck so 130 dollars is a lot of money dude we can barely uh, keep our car on the road dude. right so she doesn't get the wallet back he takes the 130 bucks he takes the wallet and then what three months later two months later she was pulled over because he ran her plate without probable cause which is a violation of the law uh, absolutely wrong false information He's absolutely wrong. This is why I have such disdain for this human being. He supplies these simple-minded people with false information. They don't look any further. They look up to Chile. Yep, Chile knows. Chile knows. And he, 
this he's wrong he's absolutely wrong there may be a state or two that has some uh, conditions on running uh, 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 tag registration like they can't use it for personal use or this that and the other but we all know that any traffic cop he, he'll find something you could swerve out of your lane you know you made too wide of a turn uh, didn't use your turn signal properly didn't make a lane change or whatever Chili's wrong he makes it sound like it's illegal for an officer to run your tag. And he, he's using the term probable cause. Probable cause has got nothing to do with this. This is traffic stop. You know, he, it, it's that kind of information these people take and they run with it. And they end up getting themselves in more trouble because they, they treat his, his words as a doctrine. You know, and that he's right. And then they become embattled with a traffic officer on a traffic stop. Thinking, I mean, she even talks nonsense here. You know, they can't do this and they can't do that. What? This is all stuff that she's picked up from, from Jose Maria Dipshit De Castro. It's just insane. And then here's 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 the kicker. This guy copyright strikes people right and left. Right and left. Uh, I heard he put four copyright strikes on somebody uh, recently, and, and then three more here or there. And all it does, all it does. He doesn't win any of them. All it does, the YouTube pulls the video, and then we have to counterclaim for uh, fair use, and then the video's down for seven to ten days, what have you, and it slows the momentum of the video down. It's just because he doesn't want the truth to be told. And you know what? Do it, Chili, because I'll put it right back up seven to ten days later, and I'll keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. And if you think you can throw three of them at me and shut my channel down, guess what? Got another channel. So, <clears throat> you sick human being, what the, the, the stuff that you feed to these people just makes their life worse. If these people had the right kind of information... On every one of those traffic stops, they some kind of nonsense. Oh, you got to call your supervisor when I request. You have to do this. You have to do that. You, you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> I hope everybody watching this gets it, and, and I really, really hope everybody stayed all the way through all three of these. Uh, videos on this one person and guess what there's more people in Ironton that came forward with some of them are just absolutely ludicrous but with these ridiculous stories you know one or two of them may have a little bit of validity to them um, because it doesn't always go right but most of it's people that don't want to face up to the fact that <laughs> they were wrong <laughs> and then and they got in trouble for it and they want to blame everybody else but themselves <laughs> it's just just absolute insanity what this guy does the the the, the turmoil that he creates the stupid ass trifle you know his stupid ass rules you know, this is what you do when you get pulled over. No. The average Joe can't do that, especially simple-minded people that, that can't think outside the box. And they're only, they're only doing what you teach them. And that's what you are, right? You say you're a teacher. You're a scholar. You're a legal scholar. You know what you are? You're a grifting no good, POS, disruptive, life ruining. Well, I can't say anymore. POS, that's what you are. 
All right, I'm proud of Ram. There's going to be more videos all week. I'm going to keep this up. So expose him. Let's get rid of him. Till next time, I'll be gone.